Hey everybody, it's me, Dana, aka Triple C. Welcome into the Craft Hour with Triple C, guys. I hope you hit the thumbs up, subscribe button, and notification bell so you know exactly when I'm bringing you another video. I truly appreciate you guys. It has been a beautiful day so far. I'm thanking God for being woke today. Hope you guys come in, share me out if you have the ability to. I hope you guys are enjoying your mornings. Come on in, guys. I'm gonna be getting some stuff set up because I think I want I figured out what I want to do today. Sometimes I kind of change it. Like I have ideas and I'm like, no, you know what? I'll do this because like I want to kind of switch it up a little bit. But I have a couple good ideas. I already know what we're doing today. But I was just trying to figure out um, if I want to do it today or another day. But today, I think it shall be done. So I hope everybody's doing great. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Hit those dummy thumbs. I am Dana, a.k.a. Triple C. Welcome into the Triple C and Joe show. AKA creatively and creative crochet and Joe show guys. Come on in. Please hit the thumbs up. I'm gonna begin with prayer in a short bit. But I'm just asking everybody to please hit the thumbs up as you come in. And then we'll begin with our prayer and we'll begin with our craft or our introduction of everybody in our craft, guys. So come in. If you're already a member, you know what a member is, guys. You just sponsor our channel monthly. You um, have a badge next to your name. If you are a member, please, please. Feel free to bake in the chat. Um, uh, drop the link, all those good things. Turn the camera, you good. Thank you, son. Son had to bring me some coffee this morning, guys. Thank you, son. I want you guys hit those thumbs up. I am drinking some black coffee. I'm going to greet everybody for those who are coming in. I kind of wait till everybody gets in the building, and then I begin to greet everybody just because everybody has to get settled, right? Okay, so today we're going to be learning something fun. But some of you may know this already. Some of you may know how to do this already. But some of you may not. So it's going to be something fun. Okay. And I hope everybody's doing good. So come on in. Hit the thumbs up. I hope you are doing good. I'm going to go ahead and greet everybody shortly. Oh, I should have told him to bring me a marker. I don't know if my son's, my husband's watching. My husband is watching. I'm trying to get him to. Jason, can you tell Joseph to bring me a marker off of the table, please? Please. It's like a red marker. Any kind of marker is good. And a paper plate. A paper plate and a marker. I'm done. I don't know. He's doing a lot. A paper plate and a marker, please, son. Thank you, JC. My son doesn't have to go to school till 9 30, so he gets to come in and uh, check on mommy. Everybody, come on in the building. We love you all. I'm just going to go ahead and greet everybody, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Having a rough here today. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, someone's in the app. Okay, well, let's wait around for a second then. I just want to show love to everybody. I thank you guys. This is Craft Hour with Triple C, guys. On this Craft Hour, I am a crocheter of 23 years, right? But I decided to not just stick to crocheting when it comes to this Craft Hour. At the, on the, during this Craft Hour, we're going to be doing so many different things. So far, we've done beaded jewelry, making stitch markers and bracelets. We've done, um, what else have we done? Um, Tunisian crochet. There's so many different things we've done, guys. And so I'm, I'm steady trying to invest in more things to craft in and to learn. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is going to be a fun day. We're going to get a little loopy tomorrow. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Hit the thumbs up as you come in the building. I'm going to greet everybody shortly. I just want everybody to get into the building. I'll let everybody have a fun. No, 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 no. He missed it. He heard nothing. I said, wow. A marker and a paper plate. <laughs> I have no idea where you got that from. Thank you. Yes, yeah, like a dry erase or something on the table, different colors. Just bring me one of those and also a paper plate, please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, so I'm just letting everybody come in. I'm going to drink my coffee, guys. I hope you're drinking coffee. I hope you're getting your day started. I hope your weekends are really good, too. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a prayer, okay, guys? I don't want to hold you guys too long because I, I want to utilize our hour. A lot of people are like, can we utilize our hour a little more? I'm going to go ahead and get our prayer on. After that, I'm going to go ahead and greet everybody, okay? So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just give you all the honor and all the glory, God. I thank you for everything that you're doing. I thank you for every way that you made, God. I thank you for every uh, light that you've shined down on us, God. Thank you for breathing life into us on today, God. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. I thank you for opening the eyes. Oh, God, you're so awesome. You're so worthy, God. I thank you for letting us be slow to speak, God. Hallelujah. Slow to respond, God. Oh, Jesus, thank you for letting us know that everything doesn't deserve a response, God. And I just I adore you, Lord. I adore you. 
I thank you for everyone in this chat on today, God. I just ask you to touch us all, God. Cover us with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, Father God. Some of us are dealing with some aches on this morning. Some of us are dealing with some pains on this morning. Some of us are dealing with some loss on this morning. Some of us are dealing with some hurt, God. Some of us are dealing with some loneliness, God. Some of us are dealing with some broken hearts on today. God, I'm asking you to touch us where we're hurting at, God. Touch us where we're hurting at. And I ask that you, we just begin to cry out to you and ask you to fix it, God. Ask you to mend it, God. We just cry out to you and say, God, please forgive us for our sins and just help us on today, God. We need you. We need you to fix us up, God. We need you to clean us up, God. We need you to make us over, God. We desire to be more like you, God. Whatever it is, God, whatever it is, if it's not pleasing you, take it away, God. Remove it, God. You're so awesome. You're so worthy, God. Just clean us up and make us more like you, God. Show us the way. Show us, order our steps, God, so that we can be more like you, God. Put us on the right path, God, so we can follow you the right way, God. Oh, God, I love you, Lord. I thank you for everybody that's in this chat, God. I'm just asking you right now, give us increase, God. Increase in our faith. Increase in our finances, God. Increase in our boldness, Father God, that we will we'll deny you, Father God. We'll tell everybody about you, God. We won't be ashamed, God. We won't be un we won't be apologetic, God, about the love of you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I just come thanking you, God. I thank you for the chat. I ask that it runs smoothly, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that it runs smoothly. We bind up every bit of cyberbullying. Every bit of spam, Father God, every troll, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just give you all the glory and all the honor. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God. Oh, in your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Mm. Amen. Good morning, everybody. You guys are the best. Love you all. Please come in the building, hit the thumbs up. I am Dana, a.k.a. Triple C. The Triple C stands for Creatively Created Crochet. That is my business of six years, almost seven now, and, um, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook if you ever want to see what kind of stuff I make. Because sometimes when we're doing these live streams, I don't always get a lot of things done. But you can feel free to check me out on Instagram and Facebook where you'll see my most things that I've posted, my most current postings. Thank you, son. I love you. You're not on the camera. You go. Um, good morning, everybody. Please hit those dummy thumbs, guys. We're going to do some pom-pom making on today. And uh, I'm talking fur. Okay? I'm talking faux fur. Now, me, I've, I've done a lot of different things when it comes to the faux fur. And I found some clearance faux fur at Walmart. Yes, you know me. I like my clearance. I love my deals. And I said, you know what? It's time to make some pom-poms. I was going to buy some, and I noticed they were about $5 each. And I said, mm, $5 each or $11 for a yard. We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and greet everybody. We got 15 in the chat. I'm going to drink my coffee really quick. I need one sip, guys. I'm draining. Yuck. Yes, I'm drinking black coffee. Many of you know already. Nana's hands is starting off with a good morning. Good morning, Nana's hands. I'm not sure if we're still in the building because you know me. I'm always. I'm trying not to be late. But I got to start waking up. I have to start waking up a little bit earlier. I do. I do. I still feel like I can just hop up. Oh, yeah, it's 840. Let me sit here and listen to a couple of good songs to get my day started. I like to start my day off with Good Good Father. Um, you can find that by um, Chris Talman or um, Todd Galber. Good Good Morning Song, Wake Up. If you ever, ever heard of it, Good Good Father, look it up, guys. You'll love it. Good Morning Song to just worship to and just get safe. Okay, sorry. <laughs> good morning, Dina. How are you? I appreciate you guys. It is a beautiful morning. Thank you, guys. Monday, y'all. I know some of us Mondays are just like, yep, mm -hmm. Monday. Or is it Tuesday yet? I know some of us can be like that, so I understand, but today I'm I'm excited. Um, Monday used to be like my relaxed day, and now my husband bowls on that day, so now it's a bowling day, which is understandable. It's fine. Whatever he loves to do, I support him. Whatever I love to do, he supports me, so we're all about supporting. And Dina says, how's everyone doing? Look at Dina's always going in and greeting everybody. Thank you, Dina, for doing that. We appreciate you. Miss Ophelia's in the building. Hey, Miss Ophelia. Miss Ophelia is a really big supporter, guys, and I appreciate you, Miss Ophelia. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I definitely appreciate you. Just know that. And um, I do. I truly, truly do. Um, I'm going to be going to do some announcements really quick. Let me go ahead and greet everybody because I always want to jump into my announcements in the middle of greeting. And I, I, I let me just hurry up. I'm so eager. So come on in. Snow Cone, I see you in the building. Welcome in. Thank you for the dummy thumbs. You guys are amazing. We got 18 in the chat. Oh, beautiful. Thank you all for being here. Vivian's in the building. Hello, guys. I've been rocking with Vivian. Vivian's been rocking with me. <laughs> we've, been, we've been knowing each other for a very, very long time. It's been amazing. So to have those families still in the building. And Vivian's got that coffee in the building. I'm losing my wrong cup. My beautiful family member by the name of Jamie at Party Blue Crochet made me a beautiful cup. 
well, not just for me, but she actually has some great merch in her um shop. And she sent me a beautiful cup that says Yarn Glory Yarn. And I have to start using that. My son just made me coffee because he knows this coffee lasts longer in here. So he wanted to um he wanted to make sure I had a different cup. Hey Sharon, come in. How are you doing? I'm so happy that y'all guys are here. Come on in, Rush. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time, Rush. How are you and the family doing? Thank you for being here. My son says hi. <laughs> Family with a purpose. Hello, come on in the building. I appreciate you for being here. It is a blessing to have a home and family here. Guys, if you see people here in the building with badges next to their names, please grab them up. Please subscribe to them. If you don't feel like leaving out right away, just please write their names down and subscribe. These are our members, and they're trying to get their channels more love over to their channels, more subscribers, and things of that sort, and they have some really good content. But of course, if we don't we don't know each other, we won't be able to um, show love to each other. So I'm asking everybody in the chat to please get connected with each other and Show love to one another. Um, okay, let me see what everybody's saying. I see ashes in the building. Good morning, Ashley. How are you doing? Good morning, Granny. How are you doing? Good morning, my beautiful niece. God's Girl Creations. That is my niece. She will be helping out. If anybody needs a link drop, CC is how you get your link drop. You just type the letter CC, meaning content creator, and someone will drop your link. Uh, I think Rush was saying about a blue jacket. Yes, guys, we, um, due to the increase of our memberships, we had to switch out blue jackets for those who were not attending, for those who are actually members. So we, we cannot just give out uh, blue jackets um, if you are not attending or if you're not a member. Let me see. Everybody's in the building. Um, did I grab everybody? Granny, how are you doing today? I appreciate you guys for being here. My beautiful niece, GT, her name is God's Girl. I appreciate it. a lot of you have been filling up that house on Saturday mornings. 10 a.m. Eastern. I know we're all wanting more days. We are all, all are, but we're going to pray for that. We're going to pray for her to get more time because she does definitely has a busy schedule. So we're going to pray for maybe, a, we're going to pray. We're going to pray, right? We're going to pray for an hour. The thing is when the spirit gets moving and then people get to know, um, we, we do have to obey the spirit. So we know what God is going to do, but we also have to know, we have to be respectful of our host too. If our host is, is coming on and saying, hey, I'm going to deliver what God is giving me. We're going to pray for everybody. And I would love to be on timing. I want to practice good timing. Um, and I want to be done around this certain time. We have to be obedient and understand that if we do come in at the last bit of it, we will get a greeting. We will get maybe a small summary, but we can not, and maybe a prayer. Okay. I'm not saying we can't get a prayer, but we have to understand that we cannot have, expect a host to go through the, the beginning to the end of the Bible study. That just would be unfair. That would be very, very unfair. So we have to get, if she would love to do it, probably would love to do it another time, but she cannot map out another four to six hours of timing because of how, you know what I'm saying? So we have to get to the point where we are obedient with time as well, too, because we got we can't grieve the Holy Spirit. We got to be really respectful of time. So um, if she's doing other guys' work, she can't do on the computer the whole time. So we want to be respectful of her. And if she would like to do another time, an hour or something like that, a little worship time, a little prayer time, whatever it may be, we got to respect her timing. And if we cannot make it, just watch the replay. But it's best to set those alarms so we can make sure we catch her. Because um, we just want to be respectful of the time. Good morning, Cravings. Come on in the building, Cravings with Carlos. Are you new? We met you, Cravings, right? Yes, I think we met before. So come on in the building. We appreciate you guys. Come on in the building. Amen. Everybody say amen. Lady C's in the building. Good morning, Lady C. I appreciate you guys being here. Crafty reseller, sweet teas in the building. Come on in, y'all. Hello, everybody. Brenda DMC, come on in the building. How y'all doing? Eunice, come on in. I hope you guys hit the thumbs up on your way in. You guys are so amazing. So Mama J Way's in the building. Thank you, Mama J Way. My crochet nut, welcome in. Minister Music, we love you. How are you doing? We got some great family here, and I'm so grateful and appreciative. If you guys don't know Minister Music of Tents, Minister Music of Tents. <laughs> Minister of Music Terrence, he's amazing, guys. He has an awesome channel. He will be live after us, guys, so we can always go rate him. Um, Lady C. Russell will be live after us as well. And I'm going to be pushing for them to do a collab, a little worship collab one of these days. I knew, I know they have it at the same time, but I'm going to be praying and um, hoping that they can do a collab where each of their families can begin to mesh and we can make it an even bigger and powerful live stream where we can get each of them to do something together on one of these days. Because I know they have days where maybe they won't go live or something. But we can, we're can we going to figure this thing out. Because I feel it in my spirit. I think they can really do a good collab. I think it can really happen. Um, let me see. Let me see what everybody's at. 
I think I got everybody. Did I get everybody. People that's in the building. Hello. Welcome in, Wendy. How are you doing? I appreciate you guys. It has been a beautiful day. How was everybody's weekend, guys? I hope you had a great, great weekend. Um, for us, we ended up doing, what do we do for the weekend? Um, for the weekend, we did, um, we were able to do some, our first gospel karaoke. Yes, that was in my husband's channel, which is Joe Sports and Ministry Talks TV. Yes. We did an awesome gospel karaoke. That was the first time we ever did it, okay? We have to work out the kinks, but besides the kinks that have to be worked out, I definitely enjoyed it. Welcome in, Kenny. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Great to see you, Kenny. Kenny's at KFS Login, guys. If y'all don't know Kenny, grab him up. Remember, guys, remember to feel free to bake in the chat, grow in the chat. If you don't want to leave in and out, hit that screenshot button on your phones and go back and grab each other whenever you can, okay? Because we really want to do that here. We want to make sure we get some family here. Okay, and I thank you all for being in this chat on today. So, yes, we went to the first um, gospel karaoke that is going to be every other Saturday at my husband's channel, Joe Sports and Ministry Talks TV. So, the first one we did was gospel karaoke. Now, we're going to do different themes, but we're going to keep it clean. No matter what we do, it's never going to be anything vulgar or anything like that. We may do Christmas karaoke, something like that. It's going to be on the gospel realm most of the time, so we're not going to be jumping into anything disrespectful okay so it's going to be the first time we did was gospel next we may be doing some christmas or we might wait till christmas closer to december i'm not sure so grab your eggnog your ca candy games all that good stuff and let's have a good time we may even start to do it where we're doing a contest of it for those who come up and we'll do a cash prize so that's what we really want to do i know a lot of people are kind of uh, scared in the beginning and so we want to like put like a little prize up there so for whoever does it um, does the best or kind of gets creative with it, whatever, we'll figure it out. So Granny says, it's gorgeous day here in Central North NC, beautiful Carolina blue skies and crisp autumn temperature. Yes. Well, our temperature currently is 33 degrees. And they said due to the wind, it feels like 23 degrees. Yeah. The wind is picking up outside here in Indiana and that wind is going crazy. Last night, I was hanging out with my beautiful niece, Kelly at Kelly's Crochet Adventures. And that wind picked up so strongly that I felt as though the windows were going to break. I've never felt that way before. Um, and I was just like, should I duck? Should I like get down on the floor? Because I felt as though the wind was that strong. I had never, I've never heard a long, strong wind like that. And I'm just like, wow. Look at Joe. Joe said, Lord, I just found out about the prize, Lord. <laughs> that is what happens when you have a helpmate and, um, I began to uh, take over your live stream. <laughs> sorry, I just love to give stuff. I'm sorry. That's why. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good morning, honey. I'm glad you could join us. I thought you were going to stay asleep, so I thought I could slide it in while you were napping. Um, good morning. Family with a purpose, too. You said I'm in C plus in the kids. Oh my gosh. You're in. Oh, and the kids are scared. What's going on? Oh, you're in C plus. Wow. Yeah. Everybody who's heard that is laughing at me. You're in Connecticut and the kids are scared. Really? The wind is picking up there as well? Oh, my goodness, yeah. I know a lot of people up in Connecticut area, Massachusetts area. Family with a purpose. I just said you're in C+. I'm thinking about school right now. Sorry. <laughs> you said the wind was wild. Yes, that wind was wild. I don't know if anybody else heard that, but that wind was like, whoo. And uh, Mama, is that beautiful Sandrine? Good morning, Tita Boo. How are you feeling? I'm so glad you're in the building. Thank you for coming and joining us over the weekend, too. Dina says, hello, all those I've missed. Dina's showing some love to everybody, guys. There goes my cousin. Her name is Angie, a.k.a. Ruby Baby. She's at Lope, Loving Every Stitch by Ruby Baby. And uh, I hope you guys grab her up. She's amazing. Okay, and then uh, my beautiful granny says, the wind has down, died down today. Okay, they were crazy, gussy with, yes. Yeah, so far, so good, I think. I'm not upstairs, but I'm kind of thinking I hear something. Lord, I think I hear the wind. I think I hear it. Um, but that wind has been a little wild, a lot wild. And um, it's been really cold. It has really, truly been really cold, guys. Let me see what else. I forgot what I was going to say. I just lost. Let me see. Zero chance of rain today. Really? I don't think we, I don't know if we have any chance of rain. I don't know because we've been getting a little bit of both. That's crazy. We've been getting the rain and the wind. Oh, my goodness. He said, yesterday morning, I had 119 family members. Yeah, Dina, that's why I was, remember I was telling you that, Dina? I said, don't get discouraged because YouTube is doing that. Like, you'll get so many, then they'll drop them down. 
and then they'll slowly begin to add them back up again. So don't get discouraged about it, okay? It's, it's a new thing that they're doing because it's a lot of people that are YouTubing now, okay? So we just got to get used to it. Don't get discouraged. That gives you more incentive to work even harder. So don't don't get discouraged, okay? That's one thing. And, and even some people, they will take people away. I've noticed they've taken some people away from me. And I make sure I go into a video to make sure it's really true. And then I have to go get people back. So some people that might have recently got you may have unsubscribed and resubscribed back again. It's, it's doing some weird stuff. But we're not going to get discouraged. We're going to keep on working hard. Keep on getting yourself out there. Keep doing that, what you're doing. Let me see where everybody's at. Um, my beautiful niece is over there dropping links. Like I said, guys, if you need your links dropped and you're not a, if you're not blue, which means you're not a member or a moderator, um, please type CC and our beautiful moderators will drop your links for you. And um, we have a beautiful moderator by the name of Mama J-Way. She's in the building. Thank you, Mama J-Way, for being here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read these comments and I'm going to do my announcements real quick. Dana, come visit us in North Dakota. There are all, almost no trees, and the wind is off the chain. What? Lord, the ground storms here are worse than any white. I have, uh, okay, any white out. Okay, so you want me to come in. That was your way of, oh, Wendy, that sounds like a really good way to sell a visitation. We don't have any trees, and the wind is worse than what you could ever imagine. Oh, hmm, so bring my kite. Is that what you're saying? Bring my kite and I can fly a kite or two. Or am I going to be in the house? <laughs> Wendy, are you really trying to sell that to me? Oh, my goodness, y'all. No trees and all the wind, the ground storm. See, I'm, I'm learning new things. I've never heard of a ground storm. Miss Ophelia says it was bad here in Michigan as well. He had the plastic on my windows. Yes. And you know, we're in Indiana, so you're right above us. So, wow. And um, family with the purpose of Dean, I had 900 yesterday morning and dropped to 870. Yep. Don't you get discouraged. Don't not get that's one thing we have to remember. Do not get discouraged. Don't get discouraged in a season. Um, that's what we have to remember. Do please. I'm, I'm telling everybody that's I, my numbers are dropping too. I woke up like, and I usually do not try to look at numbers. What am I doing? And I, I promise you guys, I try not to look at numbers. I'm telling you for the last week, I've been like looking, ooh, like <laughs> I've been looking like a just a little hungry animal. I've <laughs> seriously, I'm like, why am I doing this? So I'm trying to get out of that. I, we gotta get out of that. <laughs> Mr. Music says, Hey Joe, love you. Nancy's in the building. Hey, Nancy. Nancy's a few away from 800, guys. If you don't have Nancy, drop Nancy's link. Nancy's been working hard, guys. And um, I got 30 from baking and YouTube took away 130. Wow. Don't get discouraged. Now that you're on the membership team, we are going to be promoting you to where you won't have to worry about any loss. You know, that's one thing. If we say, oh, we'll do this, we'll do it. And you won't experience any loss. If you do experience loss, it will not be from how much we said we will help you with. He said, I'm doing a lot better, just trying to get rid of scalp. Okay, so yeah, have you went to the doctor or anything, Sandrine? So they can give you something to knock it out because I know at the doctor's office, they'll give you something to knock it out because repeated coughing and chronic coughing is not good for the lungs and the chest. And um, Joe said, I love you too, Mr. Music. And our beautiful cousin says, hey, cousin Joe, I was watching you on your karaoke live. So much fun. I want to catch the next one. Yes, come on, cuz. Catch that next, um, that next karaoke. So, guys, I want to do an announcement real quick because we're going to have some fun. We're going to make some pom-poms on today. For those who have already made them, you may know already about them, but I want to make some today. Tomorrow, we're going to get a little loopy, all right? So, I wanted to have a little bit of everything. When I say a little loopy, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. We got everything mapped out for the week, and I'm super excited. I even have a pattern for you guys, all right? So, be on the lookout for that. I do have a new pattern coming, and I want to share it with you guys. Of course, every week, you guys have been pushing me to get patterns out. I do have a gobble, gobble, give a little bit gobble 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 giveaway video that will be coming up i'm almost done editing it so that will be coming up today and everybody who uh, would like to participate please enter the giveaway guys please 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 enter there will be no special work just type hello hi great video and you are entered okay so please just come on in hit the thumbs up on the video and leave a comment all right that's all i'm asking you to do um i would love that the, the thumbs up and the views match up with the comments all right so let's make it happen guys um, so what I'm going to say is I'm doing some new, um, members. What is it? You said I'm not a mod. Can someone drop my link? Yes. Can someone drop me in his link? She's not a member or a moderator, please. And someone drop her link. This type CC. And, um, cause it was fun. Come on. Yeah, it was fun. It was definitely fun. I had a great time. And Kenny says, yeah, I don't care about my channel dying. I just keep posting and go on Twitch. Yeah. Your channel's not going to die. That's one thing. Don't speak that. That's one thing we can't say. Oh, my channel's going to die. You just got to keep working hard. Keep working hard, doing collabs, whatever else, meeting up with different people, and keeping it going. 
And Mama J. Wade is showing some love to me and some music. Terrence, thank y'all so much for showing love to each other, guys. Nancy, try to come to my live today, 5 p.m. Eastern. Remind me to shout you out. Yes, exactly. Yes, Nancy's been getting a lot of shouting out. She's been promoting her channel in different places, guys. Yes, go over to Granny's if you can. Granny has a um, 5 p.m. Eastern time live stream. If you guys don't have Granny, I know many of us already have each other because we are basically, you know, we all know each other. But go over to Granny's because she may have some people that you, you guys don't know. All right, so grab each other up, please. All right, I appreciate that love and that support. Grab each other up, guys. Welcome in, Veronica. How are you doing? V's in the building, guys. She's over at Steals the Show, Crochet and Chefs. Guys, if y'all don't have Veronica, I'm asking you guys to please grab her up. I love Veronica. She is truly, truly amazing. I love her live streams. I got to hang out with her yesterday, and I came in late. I felt so horribly, but yesterday was kind of like a little relaxed day for me, so I really did not do a lot. I was just kind of chill yesterday. And so when I came in, I, I was like, oh, I missed I miss a lot of people's live yesterday because I was kind of like in a chill mode. I really was. How are you doing today, Veronica? I'm, I'm so happy that you're here. So happy that you're in the building. Yes, guys, please come and hit the thumbs up if you haven't hit them yet. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, let me get out of here. Okay, I'm trying to get ready to um, do this. But yes, many of you know I've been doing some filming and I've been doing some pattern making. So every week I will be releasing a new pattern and I'm going to try to match it up with a YouTube tutorial as well. I think I'm going to continue to finish up some whips. I think I almost done. I missed the stitch markers the other day and definitely need to do some sets. Yeah, the stitch markers are amazing. You said I need the, I need the family. I have, I don't know, I have 90% of my hours. So subs are my issue. Okay. All right, that's what I'm talking about. That's what that's what I'm talking about. Okay, family with a purpose. All right, that's what I'm talking about. It's time now. All right, that's what, thank you for letting us know that. That's what we do here as a family. Let us know where you're at so that way we can be able to get you there. Okay, so you're, you're basically ready then. Okay, sounds good to me. Thank you for letting us know that. So that's the, that's the thing. You said I'm so good. Just finished my breakfast and coffee. Now you ready to put your clean on? So are we going to hang over at your house today at 11.30 Eastern time? Are we hanging out with you today? V. So this is one of my books I've been designing in, guys, okay? I've been using this book. It's called The Complete Book of Stitch, Crochet Stitch Designs. Now, there's about two more books that I don't have, and I'm going to invest in those because I do have a ton of these books now. Um, and I'm loving it because I'm using these different books to create stitch, different patterns. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my phone started, and we're going to make these um, pom-poms for those who are in the building. Guys, you are the best. All right, so we're going to have some fun with that. All right, let's see what happens. Hope I do not go get blurry. If I do get blurry, let me know, okay, because I don't want to be blurry. Okay, it's going to be 11 a.m. All right, so it's going to be 11 a.m. So after this, we can go hang out with Minister Music Terrence Trower. We can do a raid over to him. We can do a raid to Lady C. And then after that, we can um, go over to Steals the Show Crochet. You love that book? Yes, yes, thank you. Um, you have it as well? Yes, I'm trying to get all the different books, different stitch books, because I'm really working on doing some designing. And so, hey, you got that book too, Helen? Oh, my goodness, yes. I'm so great. You said, oh, baby, Youth Praise Break is Sunday at 5. Okay, for Minister Music? Okay. So, guys, this Sunday, if you don't have Minister Music here, I'm asking you to grab him up. He has an awesome channel. This is an awesome man of God who is an awesome minister of music. His name is Terrence Trower. He's all the way down in Texas, guys, and he is amazing. God has anointed him with an awesome voice, an awesome skill, an awesome gift of God. And I, I'm grateful to know him. I'm grateful that he's in our family. Every day, there's not a day that we don't go visit him. And um, every day, if, if there's not a day that he's alive that we don't get to visit him because he has a stream that you want to be there. So I'm asking you guys to please subscribe to Minister of Music, Terrence Trower. This Sunday, okay, this Sunday is coming up around this corner. He's going to be doing a youth praise. Is that right? Did I read that right, honey? It's a youth praise break. So that means we're going to be getting our praise on. Now, if you guys got something to pray, we got we're grateful about. If you are woke on today, if your mouth is able to move and you're able to say hallelujah, giving God the highest praise, if you're able to watch this stream right now or even listen to it, you should be grateful. You should have a praise on the inside of you because what the word says. Everything that have let everything that has breath 
praise ye the Lord. So if God has woken us up on today, we have a reason to praise. I don't care if we're aching. I don't care if we're hurting. I don't care if anything that's going on. If he has woken us up, is a reason. It's a reason. So we have to go and show him that we are appreciative of this gift of life on today. And we are grateful for him to wake us up. We have to show them, guys. And I, I would actually appreciate it. Everybody can hang over to Minister Music Terrence Live. He's going to be going live after us. We can go over and steal the show crochet and crafts after that. Go let's go over there and be, uh, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. If you're cleaning up in the middle of the day, if you're crafting, it's an awesome live stream to listen to while you're getting your craft on. I'm telling you, um, it's a really good spirit to be around. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to be really honest. I'm going to be honest. I mean, there's some days, like yesterday, I had to go to church. I'm going to be honest. Yesterday, we had to go to church. You guys know this. When I woke up, I was in pain. I did not wake up saying hallelujah. I did not wake up saying thank you, God. I woke up saying, ow, my knee. That's what I woke up saying. And I, God was like, Pff. I was like, oh, sorry, Jesus. God said, what are you doing? You didn't have to wake up. I don't, what are you talking about a knee? Are, you should be grateful you have a knee. You should be grateful anything that you have. Wake up and say hallelujah. Wake up and thank, your, thank me for life. He didn't say that, but I, I was feeling that. Thank you, God, for waking me up. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. I lost a lot of I lost a lot of family in their sleep. So I that it doesn't fall. It doesn't um it doesn't um it's not lightly to me because I lost a lot of family like that. So overnight you're talking to them the night before, and the next day you call them up, they don't answer. I lost family like that. So I have to be grateful because I, I lost a lot of family like that, y'all. Okay, let's see. I didn't think of them not watching a video. Yes, you gotta watch a video. Yes, you gotta watch that video, Lord. And it's good. Like I said, I've always been taught to watch a couple minutes or two to three minutes, depending on how long the video is. You got to watch that video. You got to watch. That's why it's good to create a small video, create an intro video, something small and cute to create it like a 30 second video so people can watch it and people can find it right away. Put it right there on your homepage where people can go in and watch it and then leave a comment. And say, Oh, that's a really awesome intro. How did you do it? Whatever else. I can't wait to come visit your screen. Create a small video because if someone, if you create a big video and they only watch a little bit of it, it may not count. And, um, you know, all that good stuff. And if you're a YouTube channel, if you have, you know, if you have a YouTube channel that's not that, you know, you don't come around it often or it's not really that active, though, there's a lot of different things. It, it is a lot. Um, I've even subscribed to people that I actually visit and they've taken me away from them. So I, I we all want to know. They don't give us any type of uh, pamphlets. They don't give us any handbooks. We're all kind of guessing amongst each other. That's what we really are doing. Um, we're just trying to figure out like trial and error, what works, what doesn't work. It's just, I'm going to be honest. And granny saying, Hey, the Nana's hands, Brenda, Miss Ophelia, Carla, and all oh, come on in everybody. Carla's in the building. We appreciate you. Good morning, Carla. How you feeling? Good morning. Everybody that's in the chat. We're about to do this. We want to get into this, um, awesome tutorial on today. What's well, not going to be a tutorial, but we're going to get into it guys. Okay. Cause I always like to do something every morning and, uh, let's have some fun. You are a good, good father. I wish my husband would sing that. I love when he sings that. Okay, so yeah, we had a good day at church. We went to church, and um, that was really good. Church was good. What else was I going to say? Church was good. Um, I don't know if anybody else went to church. We went to church. It was fun. Yes, get y'all a short video. Get y'all a short video, guys. Get you a, some type of intro video made up. That's going to be the best way to do it. And and also do something like that every so often. So that way you won't just keep going to that one intro video. Maybe once a month or once every couple of weeks, do you a new video. Like you do your intro video and then the next one might be something quick. Your It might be a quick wit video or a quick finished object video. So your first one might look, hey, welcome in. I'm Dana of Creatively Created Crochet. This is what you'll find at my channel. And I might show this and this and that, pow, that's my video. Next video I might say, hey, Guys, this is Dana with Creatively Creative Crochet. Now, these are a few things I've finished. It's winter time, so get your beanies, and I'll show three or four beanies. Pow. That's another one. And then every so often, I might say, hey, guys, welcome in. I just want to show you I made my first shawl. Look at it. What do you guys think? Pow. Another video. So every so often, do a small video to add so that way people can actually watch the full video into its entirety, and then it'll count as a view. And you'll actually see a lot of views in those videos, guys. You'll see lots. It really does help and give you some good views. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is get myself ready to share with you what we'll be doing today, all right? We're going to be having some fun on today. All right, let's see how we're going to do this. All right, so let me see. Where's my marker? Where's my goodies? Okay. All right. Oh, pot, folder, pot holder 5 of 12, exactly. 
Yes, guys, yes. I oh, can't wait to see that pot holder. So I'm using a paper plate, guys, okay? Don't mind me my paper plate usage. I should make it a little bit bigger, but I think I'm going to do about this size. I usually like to do the center of a paper plate, which is about six inches, okay? So I was going to make it a little bit bigger. I might make it a little bigger. Now, you can make pom-poms different ways. You can make them in a square shape. You can make them in round shape. I usually do round shape. Hey, like mother, like daughter eats. Come on in the building. How are you feeling this morning? I appreciate you for being here. So I'm going to share with you what I do now. I've cut it out. Like I said, I did go a little bit bigger and it is lopsided. Okay. <laughs> so don't mind me. Please hit the thumbs up. Everybody that's coming into the building. You guys are the best. I appreciate y'all for that love and all of that support. You guys are amazing. Okay. So let me go ahead and get this started. Let me show you with you what I got going on. So that way we can get started on this awesome fun part of the stream. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let me see. All right. All right. Pop Hello. Sorry, guys. I, had to, I forgot. I always forget to meet that. Okay, so I have some fur, guys, all right? Now, I decided to do my own fur, fur pom-poms because don't mind it, okay? kind of looks like a little dog right now, but don't worry. <laughs> I decided to do this because I was like, you know what? $5 for pom-pom? That's a lot. I can't really afford that, especially if I make up 10, 20 hats and I want them to have fur pom-poms on. Mm, that's a lot of money. So I decided to grab this up, okay? This is clearance. It's usually $11, okay, for a yard. I was able to get this for $2 per yard, and I grabbed two yards, okay? Now, Walmart does not have that many um, colors. That's the only bad thing about Walmart, okay? And the hair from Walmart's pom-poms are not that long. As you can see, it's not that tall. See it? It's not that tallest. So if you do buy some, it may be a little bit better because of the height of the um, the fur. But I said, hey, it's better. It's bang for my buck. Let's do it. So what I want to do is I want to make sure the hair is going downward. See how it is like this one? It's not up. It's going this way. It's going in the down direction, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this baby over because there's some backing on the outside, on the back side, right? There's some backing here. And I'm going to take my paper plate. Like I said, guys, I did, as you notice, I kind of used a little bit extra. See that extra I got here? I did not make it perfectly because I wanted to kind of make it a little bit bigger, all right? So I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to begin to um, trace it. I'm going to trace around my paper plate. Come on in, guys. Hit the thumbs up as you're in the building. Because I have some beanies I have to send out. And so this is what I need to get done. I need these to be done so I can send my, my uh, orders out. All right. So my orders are going to get sent out tomorrow. And I have to get this part done. This is the part I was dreading. I'm going to be honest. It can be a little messy. So do this in an <laughs> area that you don't mind fur getting around. <laughs> Please hit the thumbs up, guys, if you're in the building. This is so fun. I love doing this with you guys. You guys are the best. So we'll do that, right? How many of the, I need of these? I need three of these. So we'll do one at a time, okay? Good morning, Deborah. How are you doing? I appreciate you. So we get we have to cut down. Now, after we have this, we're good, right? Notice I do have some scrap around here. I have no idea what I could do with this. Maybe line it with something. I have a new idea. Maybe make a costume. I don't know. Come on in, Deborah. Thank you for being here. Hit the thumbs up. So what we'll do is we want to cut downward. Okay, we want to cut downward. We want to make sure that the fur is going down. <clears throat> and we want to cut the same direction downward. Now, I was doing this video one day on a live stream, and it was really fun. And um, we began to talk about it. So what we want to do is have a sharp pair of scissors. Okay? I have Weston brand. Now, you don't have to have a Weston brand. You can have any West Cottonmouth. You don't have to have a west cut. You can have fiskers. You can have something sharp. Now, with these, with this, um, hey, good morning, Rush. So the thing is with this right here, there's a backing. This is what you call a backing, and there's a fur. So there is a space between the fur and the backing, and you want to poke your scissors through that because you don't want to cut through the actual fur. You want to go inside the backing. You want to be inside that little secret crawl space. That's what you want to do. So you want to kind of poke into that secret crawl space. All right. And that's what I just did. I kind of got me a starting area and I'm going to make sure I'm cutting the backing only. I don't want to cut 
the, the actual fur. I just want to cook that backing. And I want to make sure I'm going downward. I want the fur to be going downward. Um, and I want to make sure, you know, I'm cutting the same direction as that fur. All right. So I want to make sure I'm cutting in there. All right. I want to cut that backing only, guys. Let's go ahead and cut that backing as much as possible. If we accidentally cut the fur, don't get discouraged, okay? If we're accidentally cutting that fur, thank you, V. I appreciate you. I can't wait to come hang out with you. I'm trying to be like you, V. You know, V, you inspire me, V. <laughs> I'm trying to be like Mrs. V over there. Mrs. Steals the show. That's my girl, y'all. If y'all don't have her, grab her up, guys. She's doing some great things on her channel. She's trying to get to that 1K, guys, and I'm asking you guys to support her because I definitely am there as much as I can be because I love everything that she's doing. So go grab her up, y'all. She's getting ready for her live stream at 11 a.m. Eastern time. I hope we get to see you guys there. Hope to see you guys in Minister Music Terrence in a little bit after we leave here. Hope to see you at Lady, Russell, Lady C. Russell. I hope you guys are at least subscribed to them. We got some good family in the chat, and I'm really um, backing them up because I, I go there. And I, I really want to back those that I go to, and I know for sure that are you're going to love. I will never send you anywhere that you will not love. I promise you that. Okay. So let's see here. We got this. We're going to just keep cutting around in our circle, making sure we don't cut the actual fab, the, the um, fur. Okay. We just want to cut that backing. If you got to cut slow, cut slow. I always tell myself that cut slow, Lord. Don't cut, don't, don't cut your, um, make sure you're cutting through. Don't cut your fabric. You don't want to cut your fur. You just want to cut that backing only. If it feels like it's a tough cut, that's probably because you're cutting the fur. So cut really gently and sweet all the way around. In your circle. Some people just cut squares, guys. And I think I'm going to try a square. A square might be simpler than cutting in a round circle. So I'm going to try it. And you still get the same result. You still get a nice pom-pom with a square, guys. And I'm going to a rectangle. So I'm going to try it, okay? So I'm just going to still be cutting around in this circle, trying this out. And let's see so that we won't take too long on it. I don't want to take too long. Oh, we got? Okay, how many minutes we got, guys? Okay, we still got about 20 or 19 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna keep cutting around in the circle and trying to get this to get this done for you guys. All right, so it's it's not that bad. I promise it's not that hard. But it's have a day where you can do your pom poms. You know, have your little pom pom day. And I will say do as many as possible. Like me, I'm gonna I have three to get done. So I'm gonna get these babies done. Or do I? Have, I think I'm gonna do four because I did just complete a beanie and I want to have a pom pom for that actual beanie. So I might be doing four. So have a day where you can do pom-poms. And um, once you get them cut, you're good. So I would say try to cut them up all at the same time. And then once you get them cut, then you won't have anything to worry about too much. Where's my camera? My camera, see that? Okay. I got to make sure I'm in the camera, guys. I should just try to turn it toward me. Can I turn it toward me? Turn it toward What Let the camera work for you. Don't work for the camera, law. Okay. Sometimes you got to give yourself pep talks, guys, because I'm so used to going to everything. Let it come to you. It's okay. That's why I learned in hair school. When you get those swivel chairs in hair school, you turn your customer to you. You don't just keep walking around the chair. The chair has a swivel on it for a reason, so that way you can get to the per the person come to you. You don't walk around the chair. I was walking around the chair, giving myself all kinds of turn the chair to you, Lord. Okay, sorry. Sometimes you have to have those pep talks, Lord. I'm telling you guys, have those pep talks with yourself. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep cutting in this little crawl space. Remember, I'm in the crawl space. Okay. I'm in the crawl space, and it's taking me a little time. So some people are like, why don't you just cut, Lord? Because I'm in a crawl space, and I'm not trying to cut my actual fur. I'm trying to actually cut the, um, I'm trying to cut the backing. I don't want to cut the fur, because if I cut the fur, Lord, it's going to be a problem. Okay, it's going to look crazy. Y'all going to be to see my accident, and I might have an accident. So if y'all see an accident, don't worry, I'm not perfect. No, none of us are, right? But if you, even if you have an accident, guys, it, you won't be able to see it too bad, okay? All right. Let's see how many accidents I had. <laughs> yes, guys, it's pom-pom time. It's pom-pom time. Okay, so I got this here. As you guys see in the building. Yep, exactly. And you had to, and you had to waste less fabric. Yes. That's why I said I'm going to start doing squares as well, too. I just never have done it. So I just felt like I was going to do this and just, you know, do it. Um, so yes, guys, this is what I have. I gotta rotate it, rotate it, rotate fine. I'm trying to rotate it, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to rotate and won't rotate. Come on, phone, rotate. Okay, did it rotate? There we go, it's rotating now. Okay, so here we go. Where's my camera? Turn my camera to me. All right, here we go. We have it. This is what it looks like now. If you did it right, it should hang over. 
No matter how, whatever shape you do, it should hang over this way. See how it hangs and drapes over? If I turn it over, see that drape? That is a sign that you did a good job. Now, if it's blunt like so, and you cut it all the way around here, that is a sign that you may be doing a redo, all right? So there's no worries about it. Don't get discouraged about it. It's just you need it to be able to hang over. That's, a, that's the importance of that crawl space, okay? That is the very true importance of a crawl space, guys, okay? So now we're going to have some fun. And we're going to go in and grab a little thread, all right? Let me see what kind of thread I want to use here. Do I want to use a lighter thread? Now I want to use a medium thread. I don't know. Maybe I'll use a medium thread. I don't know. Maybe I'll use a lighter thread. I still want to see my workload because my eyes are not the best. Let's see. Let's try that. Let's have some fun. You only live once, all right? So I got that. I just bought brand new needles because I lost my needles. So you're going to need your needles, too. Good morning, Crystal. How you doing? You know, we've been keeping it lift up in prayer. I appreciate you being in here. Come on in, everybody. If you don't have each other, if you need your link drop, type CC, and an amazing moderator will drop your link for you, okay? Quincy, thank you for coming in the building. Everybody that's coming in. You like to sell it? Thank you, V. Thank you, V. Because you know I'm not a seamstress or anything. I always let everybody know, guys. <laughs> I just want to have some fun. Try it, buy it, and make Get out of here. Well, welcome in. Try it, buy it, and make it sell it, Lord. I'm Dana, a.k.a. Triple C. Everybody who's coming in new, come on in. Hit the thumbs up. All those good things. I appreciate you. I'm doing a fur pom-pom. Thank you for coming in. I have some beanies, that, some beanie orders that I have to get out. And so what I'm going to be doing is I just got these needles. I have to get them opened up here. Okay, are you going to act up on me right now, needles? Come on. Is, is this all? Oh, it's taped. La, la, la. Okay, sorry, guys. They had a tape protector on here, and I had to get the tape off. I'm like, what is going on? Why would you show it on me? I know it's easy to open these things up. Okay, so I'm going to just get my needle out, okay, and close that back up. I don't need loose needles everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab my my thread, and I'm going to do a little thread work real quick. And I don't need that much, but just grab a nice amount. You know, I'm not sure how many inches and all that, guys. TBH, right? I don't know. So we'll go ahead and snip that like so, and then we'll go ahead and thread it. All righty, let's have some fun threading it, just like you're doing a regular thread, some th regular thread work. All right, some of you may have threaders and things of that sort, which I'm going to be trying to get to as well. I want to get some threaders and stuff. I don't really know what they're exactly. They're just called threaders. I think some of them are just called threader, threaders. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to just continue going. I'm just going to tie it up at the end, all that good stuff. Make the knot at the end, you know, back in the day, like her. Moms and grandmas and books that we read, craft books, taught us how to do. Okay. And a bad thing about the red is sometimes it can get a knot in it when you're making really long. Um, I don't know if anybody has like a little secret to that, a tip for that. When you're making really long um, work. How does it work out for you? I don't know. Let me see. Everybody's coming in the building. Welcome for being here. Oh, an exacto knife. I do have an exacto knife. I've never used it. Well, I need to bring it out then, cuz I do have an exacto knife. It's good to use that. Look at my cousin coming and teaching me some stuff. Yeah, see, I don't I never did it. I never used my exacto knife. What if I use my exacto knife for? I cannot remember. We were cutting out something. I knew we were doing some like box crafts or something with cardboard. Get out of here. Look at my cousin. I have an exacto knife right in my craft um bag. Get out of here. Never knew it. Look at my cousin. Thank you, cuz, for teaching me this. See, now my daughter, and I'm thinking I'm going to make this. Really? You're going to make... Yeah, because I have some beanies that I've made. I have some beanies that I've actually made. And uh, let me see. Where is this at? Oh, no, this is not it. This is not the beanie. I wish I could show you the beanie. I'm going to be adding this, too. But, yes, I have beanies, and I'm going to be making these with. So, right now, I'm just tying this in the knot, getting the end. You said cutting wood long. Yeah, we were cutting the cardboard, remember? We're doing those boxes for um somebody's birth for our kid's birthday. We weren't cutting no wood with it. Oh, you're talking about when we did cut the wood. What was that, honey? We were cutting the wood for you're talking about when we were in um what you call class too, honey. Yes, we were in um 3D. Um we were in my what is it called, honey? Sculpting class. And we were doing sculptures. Oh my goodness, yes, honey. I forgot. Yes, we were in sculpting class at school, y'all, in college. And we need the exact right to cut that too. Thanks, honey. I forgot. Yes, we had to cut. Oh, my goodness. 
we're using bolsa what we're doing so much welcome in dusty cat come on in how are you so now that we have this guys we're just going to create a drawstring all right we're going to do a drawstring method many of you know you're just going to go weaving in and out and you're going to create a drawstring all right so it's very simple okay so you're just going to go in and out of that backing okay so that's all you're going to be doing in and out of your backing creating a nice little you know good little goodie and you just want to be in that backing guys okay and you're just kind of like see that and you want to just pull through all the way around so this part can be a little bit boring but guess what it's not the worst it's definitely not the worst and some people may have different methods so that's why i said i'm never going to tell you oh this is the only method i can choose from just find a method that works best for you good morning dusty i appreciate you being here thank you for reading that thumbs up i'm just doing a craft hour every morning i like to do a craft hour where we just make different things tomorrow we're gonna get a little loopy and uh, we got some good stuff. We got lots of good stuff coming up for this week. And every week I like to give out one free pattern um, and all those good things. I'm going to try to get my tutorials back up as well. And it's just because I haven't really had my time. I got to get my timing better. So we'll get that started again. You say you're good. Just popping to listen while I get ready. Well, I'm um, thank you for coming in and getting uh, coming in and, you know, listening while you get your day started. I truly, truly appreciate you. You guys are the best. If you see Nightbot dropping any links in the chat, guys, don't be worried about Nightbot. Nightbot is an awesome helper. Nightbot is dropping some members um, that are top-notch members in our chat, and I'm asking you guys to grab them up and subscribe to their channels. You will love their channels, guys, okay? We got Travis at Dream on Wheels. We have Elizabeth Aaron Crochet. We have Time with Tiffy, and we have the amazing Shelby Jones, guys. And you, we got some great family in the chat. And I'm telling you, I would love for you to subscribe to them. You really thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much, Nancy. You are amazing. I appreciate you being here, Nancy. So you're just going to basically do this. Are you doing okay? You're just weaving in and out all that backing, all right? The backing is a good fabric just to kind of go through, weaving in and out. You know, lot, lots of us do the drawstring already, right? We already do that, okay? So we know about doing a drawstring. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not, but... Like I said, me, I'm going to probably do a, make a pom-pom day. So after I get done with this, try to be on the outside edge as much as possible, close as much as to the edge, but not too much. But you know what I'm trying to say. Leave a little wiggle room for the edge, but, you know, you want to, the more closer to the edge you are, the bigger the pom-pom will be. So, again, um, it just depends on, like me, like I said, I'll do like a, maybe anywhere to six to eight inch square. I mean, uh, what am I doing? Circle. I'm going to try for the, circ the squares as well or the rectangles as well, too. So I want to figure that out. Or should I do a square? I should probably do a square. I'm going to try it. My cousin suggested to try a square so you don't want to waste as much fabric. And so that's what I'm going to try to do as well because I really don't want to waste that much fabric, guys. I'm all about trying to save as much as possible. You said I replied to your email. Looking forward to working. Okay. Thank you, Mama J-Way. I appreciate you. Yes, guys. And I'm doing some testing. I'm doing pattern testing. So right now I have my first group of testers I'm going to be reaching out to because I'm doing patterns. And um, I would love for people to be able to have pictures for me and things of that sort, as well as telling me if they understood the pattern and what kind of yarn they use for it, things of that sort stuff, you know. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to really get myself out there with this pattern. So right now I've been having some YouTube family do it, but I'm going to be getting reaching out to my Instagram family as well. Because I know they have a lot of different pictures and things that they can um, model for me and things of that sort. So I'm going to be doing that as well. So, again, guys, I'm just going around in this circle. I'm almost getting there now, guys. Like I said, if you just kind of weave in and out multiple times on your needle, it'll make you get there quicker than just once at one time. Okay, so just kind of going around in that drawstring area. Thank you guys for being here and watching this. And I'm just drawing it up as I go, okay? As you can see, it's cuffing up. And you're like, what am I going to do next? We're almost there, guys. Give me a small second. Okay, give me a small second. I always like to give myself at least a half hour to craft or more. If depending on how long the craft is going to be tomorrow, we might get started a little earlier in the craft part. Not get started earlier in the day, but I might greet and pray and things like kind of writing into it so we can play with what we're going to do tomorrow. Yes, but yes, guys, I'm, I'm doing some pattern testing. So many of you have already applied for the testing. I'm going to actually do a pattern. What is it called? I'm going to do an application process. Some people's work I've already seen. Some people's work I've already know 
how they, they're good at it. They work with different types of yarn. They've done multiple crafts. They have lots of years under their belt. So, but there's going to be new people that I have not, um, don't know much about yet. So I'm going to be getting an application process started because that's what I've always done. I've always had to apply. And I, I like a value of applying because you get to know about your personal set, testing your pattern. You know, you get to know about it. And uh, if you don't have time to go check up their channels or their pages, they can tell you, hey, I got this many followers. I started crocheting back here. I'm active. You know, sometimes we can crochet for so many years, but are you active? Uh, which is nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, you know, some of us life happens. We don't get to crochet all the time or we haven't crocheted since we were kids or whatever else. And I want people to know sometimes patterns begin to change and things of that sort. So if you haven't crocheted in a while, this pattern may not may be a little bit hard to understand because when you started crocheting, patterns might look a little different, you know? So when you cut a square or a rectangle, do you still see a circle or do you sew? Um, that's a good question. I've never done it. So cousin Angie, if we're cutting in a rectangle or a square, are you still gonna sew in a circle or are you gonna just sew in a square form? Are you gonna cut the corners when it comes to sewing? You know what I'm trying to say, cousin? I, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Now that you say that, it kind of feels like, what well, should you cut the corners? Who know? Or would you? I don't know. That's a very, very good question, guys. I have no idea. That's a very good one. I hope Cousin Andy's in the building to still be able to answer that. Because that's really good. Or anybody who's ever done it that way. All right, guys. So I'm being very close to my end. Like I said, I only have a little bit that I haven't sewn yet, right? So what I'm going to do is take some more goodies to add in here. Now, everybody has different things what they like to do. Me, I'm going to be filling it up with a bit of fi what is it called? fiber fill. Okay, you can sew it shape. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Sorry, guys, I gotta speak. <laughs> no, 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 excuse me. Oh, what is going on? So you can still sew circle, I mean square. No, no, no. Okay, cool. So that's what I'm probably going to be doing then. My next ones are going to be square. <laughs> so that way I don't take so much time up. Okay, so now grab this up. Now, some people like to fill this up with, what is it called, guys? Your scraps? All that type of stuff. I've never done that, guys. I'm going to be honest. I've never used scraps inside of my goodies. Not saying that I can't. I just never have. I kind of, after I, after I cut off little scraps, little bitty bits, like the little itty bitties, they're in the trash. I, I can't. I have children. I can't. <laughs> I, I can't. They'll be tracking them everywhere. I'll be going to the bowl now with scraps next to my shirt. No. I got I to gotta toss the scraps, guys. I, I can't. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with saving yarn and things. But there's only so much you can save. I'm, gonna be, I'm not saving little bitty scraps. But to each his own, because if you actually don't have kids or you actually have a spot where you can put them after you cut them, great. Me, I'm always crafting in every room. I craft upstairs, I craft downstairs, I craft here, I craft there. And so if I if I save my scraps, it, the house will be really horrible. I, don't, I really can't do it. So I'm going to stuff this baby up, okay? I'm going to fill this baby up. Fill this baby up with this, all right? Now, depending on how much you want, that's how big it'll be, Okay. So fill that baby up. It's important to catch the corner so you can draw. Okay, so grab those corners. You want to catch them, okay? See, that's what I'm saying. I have no idea how to do that. I'm just know about this way. All right, so now I'm getting this baby stuffed, and I'm getting it stuffed to capacity. As you can see, that baby is beginning to grow, all right? So like I said, if you're pleased with how much is stuffed, feel free to begin to continue going around in that circle. And finishing up, like I said, I only have a few little bitty bits to grab on, and then I'm going to be done with it, okay? I got to get it back opened up again so I can see where I'm at, and then I'm just going to continue going around. Where am I at here? Okay, hold on. Okay, that's the end. Okay, I'm like, I'm seeing the red, but I'm not sure where I am. Okay, so I've got a few more spots to go in. And I'm just going to keep on weaving around until I get to where I need to be. And uh, kind of overlapping over the beginning part so that way I can get there. Okay, making sure I don't have my fur because some of my fur wants to get caught up in there. Okay, pulling that nicely. Getting it closed beautifully. Okay, so you want to make sure you pull it closed and things of that sort. Get it. Oh, and there you go. Get it nice and taut. Like I said, this pom-pom is made from Walmart's fur, okay? So the fur is not as long as if you were to get it from certain places. There's different, like Joann's. I've never bought any fur from Joann's. I never have. So I don't know exactly how. Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. 
Oh, okay. I don't know exactly. Oh, I forgot about this. Sorry, guys. I found some um, stuff I could do some beating with. Um, but yeah, I don't know exactly how far, how long it is, how long the furs are from Walmart. Okay? I mean, from Joanne's. But Walmart fur is not extremely long. Okay? As you can notice, it's not extremely long. Here we go. So, use po po use a upholstery thread to sew. Oh, okay. So, that's good. You can use a upholstery thread. You can use a uh, hair sewing thread. For those who are cosmetologists, I'm a cosmetologist. And I love to use hair sewing thread as well. And it helps. It's probably kind of similar to upholstery thread. It could be. I'm not sure. But I know it's a strong. You cannot break it with hands. You cannot at all. Um, so, like me, I just kind of whip it up a little bit. You can do it however you choose. Um, I love the tips. Thank you so much for all those tips, guys. You guys are amazing. He said, this week you can have all fabric and Hobby Lobby 25% off or 30%. Look at that. See? That's how we got to do it, guys. I appreciate those tips and all those tips and tricks. Like I said, guys, now you sew it up. Um, I'm just going to go around and sewing it up and beginning to sew it up and let it draw up. Now, again, like if it's too big for you, let it be. It, you can take out some of the um, you can take out some of the filling. You can do all that, okay? So it just depends on how big you want your palm, all right? And everybody's like, make sure you blow dry these to kind of get the shape good and all that stuff because you really don't want to look too Don Kingish, all right? So just go ahead and keep going. Sorry I couldn't join you Saturday, Joe. Oh, Ronald J. Way, it's okay. And Cousin Angie says, sometimes you can catch fur at Hobby Lobby and your fabric is not on sale. You can use a 40% wow 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 see i love it thank y'all look at y'all that's i love the tips that's what i'm talking about guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and sew it all together guys now like i said everybody does it different ways but i did stuff this baby okay i did begin to stuff it so if you don't stuff it as much when you draw string it it will not be hard okay that's the thing now if you draw string it and you have less in here it will be easier to sew. But since I stuffed this baby up, because I love them stuffed, since, especially since the fact that they're shorter here, I just kind of begin to sew it. I do a sew job, all right? Or a whip stitch job. I do a little bit of whip stitching, okay? So don't bear, bear with me. You can do a whip stitch. You can do a mattress stitch, whatever you choose. And that's how I begin to get mine sewn up, just because I know I, st I stuffed it to its capacity, all right? I really did. So just begin to sew it up, guys. I'm, I am over my hour, so if you do have to get out of here, please forgive me. I just really wanted to do this because I really need to get this done. All right? Oops. I really need to get this done because I'm actually getting this done for order. So I definitely appreciate everybody that's in the chat. You guys are amazing. All right? So I'm just going in the inside of here and bringing it back onto the opposite side. That's what I'm doing. Getting it sewn up. And I'm going underneath the inside, though, guys, so that way it won't be noticeable, okay? We don't want any noticeable goodies. So that's, I stuffed this, guys. Like I said, I stuffed it. I really wanted a nice fluffy pom-pom. My customer wanted fluffy, and I'm going to give my customer fluffy. It depends on the size of the hat, too, guys. Remember that. If you have, like, a kid size hat, you really don't want to give them... <laughs> You really don't want the biggest hat because you don't want them, to, I mean, the biggest pom-pom because you really don't want them to fall over and <laughs> they don't want to fall over from the pom-pom. Just kidding. They can't fall over. But. All right. So, yes, you're going to fluff this. All this is going to have to be fluffed. This is going to go this way after we get done with it. It's going to go this way. Then we can use it to sew on. Because I didn't give, yeah. You say have a great, yes, have a great day, Dina. Thank you for hanging out with us. So this is going to be sewn on. Where's my beanie? I might have a beanie here. If I can show you guys my beanie. Let me see. Do I have any beanies up here? Yes, this is going to be one of the beanies I'm doing. You said, I'm staying. Just said, oh, thank you, Dina. Look, Dina, I'm staying, Lord. I ain't going nowhere. Okay. So Dina's staying. She wants to see how we're going to finish this baby up. And so this is how you can sew it on to this. All right? You can use whatever kind of thread. Like, who is that? Crafty reseller? She said, use a... I got awesome thread. Um, you can use like a thicker thread. Use whatever kind of thread you have, guys, okay? And then once you get it shaped to your liking, okay? Remember, you can shape it, fluff it, shape it, mold it, scape it. All those delicious things. Like I said, this might be, it could be a little too big for your liking, okay? But it just depends on you. I know I kind of made it a little bit bigger due to the fact that it was short hair. Look at that. That's short hair, lot. So if you find you some good ones at Hobby Lobby, it has longer hair. Walmart is going to be shorter here. 
But I've definitely seen people who have longer haired, um, what's it called? Longer haired ones, longer haired um, fur. And so you would add this to your pom pom. Okay, if I could get it centered, you would add that to your beanie. And instead of having like a, um, what is it called? The yarn pom pom, you would actually have a, um, I wish I could find a way to get it right so you guys so you can see it better. Instead of you having a, you know, a store, like a regular pom pom, you would have a, um, like the yarn ones, you could have, uh, you could have a, you know, let me see if I can do this like this. Instead of you having a, you know, you can have it like this. I think this really actually looks a lot better to me because after I sew it in, I think it'll look a lot better to me than having some made of yarn. And I think that will bring it out all the way, guys. I think it's going to bring it out. Yes. Thank you, Miss Sophia. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do some economical type of things. Remember, guys, if these are good to get pom-poms are great to make but um like i said make a pom-pom day out of it if you can thank you so much damn mr again geez dana and friends oh no problem it's okay you can always catch a replay if you would like no problems we're just getting our craft on thank you so much and for coming in the building felicia you are amazing thank you um but yeah so like i said it's very economical have you a craft day have you a day where you can um you don't make your pom-poms up because five dollars a pom-pom uh it's not the worst uh, but if, like I said, if you're doing this for a business, you really would like to, you know, and some people, you said, I really love that pattern. You don't have, oh, you got to break down and buy it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You can definitely break down and buy it. This is really worth it. It's, it's good. It's a big seller. Very, very big seller. Once you do buy it, you, it it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, that's why I said I got to break down and buy it. What is those, one of those rulers? <laughs> But I, I probably do it this week coming up. I just gotta wait till you know uh, De Niro comes in, and I'll get one of those uh, gauge rollers. Cause I want to I want to I wanna make some actual like tops and sweaters, sweater patterns. But I want to make them all sizes, you know. Hey, everybody, saying good morning. How you doing, Angela? I appreciate y'all being here. Thank y'all for hitting the thumbs up. I'm just finishing up this awesome, um, this amazing. Mm -hmm pom-pom so that way i can finish it up for my beanie and uh get some more done i have like uh three more or four more beanies because i actually made my cousin's scarf my cousin's scarf my cousin angie her scarf in um the color of scarfy and mint silver so when since i did that i want to add a pom-pom to that so i can get my daughter to model it so that way when she models it i can get some um, goodies i can sell it <laughs> she's a great model so i sell let her help me sell now monica now Let's see. Oh, we said finding happiness. Welcome in. How you doing? Thank y'all for being here. Please hit the thumbs up, guys. You guys are amazing. Now let's see. Um, Veronica says, how many pom poms can you get with that fabric? Oh, yes, it's worth it. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. You can get at least twenty. You can get at least twenty. At least, at least twenty. Now I got a lot of fabric. I have two yards. Let me get out of here. Can I get back to this now? All right, this way, man. Let me see. All right. Let me get out of here. I think I can kick myself out. Can I kick myself out of here? You know, bye bye self. Yeah, you can get at least 20 of these. This is it's really good. Okay. You can get a lot. Because look at this. I've I've had I've only used a little bit. I mean, I've used some, but I got my scraps here. But like I said, I'm gonna do circles. I'm not gonna do squares anymore. I mean circles anymore. I'm gonna do squares because I've wasted some. Look at that. I wasted some of this because I was doing circles, but I'm going to start doing squares. Um, and even like this, this could be like a little baby one. Oh, look at that. I probably could do this and cut this and make a baby one. I probably could make like a little baby pom pom for a newborn. But anyway, yeah, you can get a lot of these out of this. is way worth it. You can at least get 20 for per yard. Okay. Or about 12 per, I was about 12 per yard, or is it 10 per yard? 10 to 12 per yard, depending on how, how wide. If you do six inches, you can get about at least 10 to 12 per yard. And if you're doing more than that, like a two yard, you can get at least 20. I might be doing a really bad count, but you're going to get, it's worth it. It is real. Whatever it is, it's really, truly worth it. Yes. Use the waste stuff and stuffing. Oh, look at cousin. Cousin said stuff that baby with that from them scraps. Thank you, cousin. Yes. My cousin is amazing, guys. If you don't have her, grab her up. Her name is Angie, a.k.a. Ruby, baby. Look at her. Says, use the stuffing with scraps. 
that makes a really nice scrap, y'all. Look at that. Don't waste it. Yeah, waste not, want not. There you go. Yes, Dina, I agree with you. I'm definitely not trying to waste any more, y'all. So, yes, look, there goes the pom pom. That's what it looks like. Got your furs there. Um, I'm going to try to get some pom pom fur from what is it called? Hobby Lobby, y'all. That's one of my next investment. I'm going to try to get some of that because I want to do different colors and different types. Um, and I, every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I saw on such a quick trip, I never get to even look at their fabrics or anything. Never. So, it's going to be fun to do that. Um, so I'm going to be getting these sewn up. I have two, I have three beanies that shape like this that have to be out tomorrow, which is, you know, don't pay attention to this pom pom because I got it upside down. But yes, guys, so I'm going to get these pom poms done. That's my homework for today. I'm going to be working for my labor of love, which you guys know I'm working on. That, um, what am I working on, guys? I'm working on that amazing. I don't know if you can see it. I'm working on an amazing blanket of mine that I'm doing. It's a labor of love. So I'm going to be doing that. And then um, I have a couple other beanies I'm going to show you in the morning. I have those done. So tomorrow we're going to get loopy. So be ready for that one. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, I'm excited. So I hope you guys get to come over and get loopy with me tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern time. And um, let's see. Yes. You love your Ruby, Ruby baby. Yes. We got to love Ruby baby. Yes. You got to love it. Um, and let's see, finding happiness says, I remember, remember to take your phone with you. Yes. I always take my phone with me and then I pass it down to my son. He passed it down to my daughter. And I, my daughter passed it down to my baby son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. We're going to be hanging out with the beetle feel beautiful. If you still want to get crafty, let's go over to steals and show crochet and chefs at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Now, if you're ready to get into that worship mode with me, I ask that you come on and show some love of Minister Music, Terrence Trower, as well as Lady C. Russell. Guys, I'll be over in both of those chats, getting my worship on, my praise on, and getting ready and finishing up these pom-poms. And I'll see you guys later on. Please come back tomorrow. If anybody can drop Minister Music, Terrence Trower's link, as well as the beautiful Lady C. Russell's. If anyone would love to subscribe to them, I'm asking you guys to please. They are part of the family, and you are not regretted. So please, if anybody can drop Minister Music, Terrence Trower's link, bye, as well as... um. Lady C's, guys, all right? So please drop down the links. We can go head over there and show some love. Then we can go to Veronica's at 11 a.m. Eastern, and uh, this be, we can be really blessed. I want to be blessed on today. I hope you guys are blessed by this live stream. It was very awesome. Please subscribe to them. If you cannot make it over to our stream, I'm asking you to subscribe to them. It's good ground to subscribe to, okay? So please, we can subscribe to their channels and show them some love, okay? I appreciate that love. It's always good to give love back because these are some good supporters, They'll come to your videos, they'll watch you, they'll become your streams. Like they don't just say, oh, I'm so crap. They'll actually come to your streams. I've seen Minister Music in so many streams. It's like, Minister Music, you're everywhere. Yes, he's a really big supporter. So please. Yes, he's an awesome. He, he teaches people to play keyboard. He teaches people how to, I mean, not craft. He sings, he'll pray for you. He, he does a great thing. Thank you so much, my beautiful niece, guys, girl. You are amazing. If y'all don't have my beautiful niece, guys, girl, please subscribe to her channel, guys, okay? She does a lot for us, and um, I'm excited. We're having a birthday party in two days at our channel, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I hope you guys hit that reminder. Two days we are celebrating Miss Beautiful Holy Spirit Firefall's birthday. Yes, we are. We're celebrating. I'm going to keep on circulating that fire and sharing it out all day, every day, because I'm really excited. It's Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern time. He said, I was there at Hobby Lobby where I am. Oh, you wish there was a, oh, my goodness. If there's a Hobby Lobby, I don't get to go. I don't get to go that often. It's kind of farther out. Um, but I do get to go to Joanne's and things of that sort. Yes, everybody, love y'all. Y'all have a great day. And I hope to see you guys in Minister Music as well as Lady C's and Veronica Steals the Show, Crochet and Chefs. So tomorrow we're going to get loopy. So I hope you guys come on and show up tomorrow. And then later on this week, remember, I'm going to be giving away the free pattern. So you don't want to miss out on that. I appreciate everybody coming in to Craft Hour with Triple C. I'm your host, Dana, aka Triple C. And I hope we follow you. Hope you follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Creatively Creative Crochet. You all be blessed and have a great day. Love y'all.